coming from worship service and we had a wonderful worship service. I was blessed of the Most High God to come out of Luke, the 18th chapter, verses 9 through 13. And I talked about, I need to change the Pharisee and the publican, the Pharisee and the tax collector. And I talked about how the Pharisee was saying there's nothing wrong with him and how he fasts twice a week and how he tithed on all that he possess. And then he started talking about he wasn't an adulterer, he wasn't unjust, he wasn't extortion, he wasn't an extortioner, and he wasn't like the guy across the aisle from him. We need to understand that when we start comparing ourselves to people, we've lost sight of God. We need to not have a comparison so much as to people, but we need to understand that God is the only, the only gauge, the only supernatural standard gauge in our lives as believers. And I talked about how my grandmother would talk about what you want can kill you and what you need can save your life. I talked about in this corner is what we used to be and this corner is what we are now. I talked about how God has blessed me to be a quitter and how, you know, we spend all this time yelling for Michael Jackson, rest in peace, yelling for Michael Jordan, God bless you, yelling for Magic Johnson and, you know, and, but we won't. Praise God. I talked about how we're going to run out of everything. Life, oxygen, food, money. But we're not going to run out of God. We owe God. We can't repay him. And if we, can't, if we could repay God in any type of way, we should repay God in our behavior, conduct, and speech, and actions as I leave this beat. Yes, I need to change. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in need of prayer. Not my mother, not my sister, not my brother, not my neighbor, not my manager, not my uncle, not my auntie, but me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I have a long ways to go. I have a self inventory I need to do. I have a self assessment and I have a self check as I head to the grave. And when God wakes us up to judge us, I pray that we all can make it into heaven, but some of us not gonna make it. Some of us are already destined for complete destruction in, in hell and the lake of fire. I believe in that. If you believe or not, I heard an old man say one time, I'd rather live like there is a God while people saying there is no God than to find out at the end that there is a God and I've lived ungodly. So we should live as best we can, give as much as we can, share as much as we can, love and forgive as best we can as we head to the grave. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I'm the one with the problem and I need to change. I'm changing, and I have changed, and I need further change. We need to stay on our knees and our hearts and minds, beg God to change us, beg God to forgive us, and beg God to use us at the same time. I'm going to get going. It's a wonderful day. Every day above ground in Christ Jesus is a good day. God keep you. God use you. God operate on you so he can operate in you and use you. Is my prayer. Peace. One.